Welcome everyone to lesson 25. This is the final lesson of the first course. Congratulations on having made it this far. I appreciate it. And for this lesson, I want you to do your thing basically, which means that the assignment is that you actually summarize in your own words um, all the lessons of this course. Now, this does not have to be long. Just however much wants to flow out of your being. If that is two sentences, that's absolutely fine. If that is two pages, that is absolutely fine too. If that turns out to be a book you want to publish, that's absolutely great too. So the point is up to you basically, but I do want you to spend some conscious contemplative time with each, the title of each lesson, perhaps without actually looking through the lesson unless you feel really inspired to, but simply based on the title and maybe just a brief glance over some of the subtitles within that lesson, based on just that, not using my words, but actually using your words. If they resemble my words, because that's how you've been taught them, that's absolutely fine. But I want it to come from you. I want it to come from your way of seeing, from your way of rationalizing, from your way of contemplating. This is important because I found that writing exercises actually help anchor in our realizations and make them more profound and make them more stable in our own eyes, in our own experience with life. So just go through all these titles and maybe subtitles if you feel you need to or want to and write a little summary of each of these lessons. So just title, summary, title, summary, title, summary of all these lessons. And then I want you to, um, in addition to that, another writing assignment is to write out a summary basically of the whole course but you can do this first for yourself too, if it makes sense, just like in a very short, um, in a very short paragraph, summarize it for yourself in your own words, however sophisticated that may seem or be. But then I want you to write down in maybe one or two paragraphs, maybe a page at the most, I want you to write down how you would actually explain this to someone that has never heard of any of this before. And this is not so that you have something ready to go when your family asks you what you're doing here or that you can talk to strangers on the street. Sure, if that resonates and it seems appropriate, go for it. But this exercise is for you. Why? Because the more we are able to simplify it down into words and offer it to someone that has never heard of this before, A, what we start to do is we start to demystify the whole spiritual thing around it and we actually start to experience that the simplicity of awakening is so available to everyone. And B, one of the other main effects is that, and benefits, is that, again, your brain starts to rewire itself to a point of simplicity and to a point of being able to channel that more sophisticated, subtle, balanced knowledge and wisdom and recognition and um, a lot of experience with that into a very simple format that can then be applied basically to everyone. But again, this is mainly just for your own sake, for the own rewiring of your hardware and for anchoring this in. And it's just fun of an ex it's a fun exercise to actually have some experience with how would I explain this to a stranger on the bus? How would I explain this to my grandma? How would I explain this to my son or to my daughter or to my spouse maybe even if this is sort of a separative thing in your relationship? So if you feel like it, you can write different things for different types of people. This is not necessarily the assignment. The assignment is just to write, say two paragraphs, but one section, like can be a page too if you want to, but write it to one person that has never heard of it before. But if you feel really inspired, you could apply this to different people. For example, your grandmother, your spouse, a stranger on the bus, etc. If you feel that you would definitely say different things to different people, then write a paragraph, summarize the whole first course and all the benefits and how accessible it is along with an instruction somehow somehow make it experiential for the reader or for the listener. And then simply write this down as succinctly as you can, as simple terms as you can, and have fun with it.